Welcome to Momentum Monday. Today is August 15, 2022. Howard, what's going on? What's Somebody new? Are yelling at me. That's a good sign. I'm yelling at you? No, not you. People on the internet have been yelling. Oh, on the internet. Tensions, tensions are high. Interesting, because it's a slow summer, so no reason for that. You no, know, I just think, you know, when I, I was telling people when people get mad at me it's generally over like a stop like it's over like behavior social behavior on the internet it's like they're mad about a stock or they're mad that like people are bots or spam or you know it's just people complaining be because their stock is down and it's not their fault it's somebody uh, somebody else's fault or you, i mean you don't have that emotion. You've taken that out of your investing. I, I deal with the ninety nine percent on the on the internet stock twits and twit and fin twit, where everybody's never been wrong. It's the Fed's fault. It's uh, Jamas' fault. It's CEO's fault. It's never like the stock's down, and maybe I should have just had better risk management. You know, you you live in a different world than most. Okay, then let's let's talk about the stock market then. Oh, uh, I think we could we continue to see a relentless market. Uh, the dips keep getting bought, no matter uh, the news. And uh, I mean, zoom out a little bit. Yes, for the last two months. Yeah, zoom that's what I'm bust. talking. I'm talking about the, the past month and a half, the past two months. Yeah. Every little dip is being is being bought in the indices. I mean, we have the small caps back above. They're 200 days. So that, are they the first or the S&P get? That's today. Okay, they so are the first. Uh, we yeah, we Friday, talked a couple Friday. of weeks ago about biotechs. They were the first to get back above. Yeah. I mean, they're approaching potential resistance here near 206, but definitely for the first time it's since last year, November, they're above the 50 and 200 day. Uh, so I mean, that's something they... Uh, there are it. tons of capital on this um, index is getting above the 200 day that will blindly mechanically get long yeah it's just just yeah. the small cap so far um s p is almost there yeah literally less than a percent and uh, obviously the accuser uh right behind mm -hmm. uh so definitely we saw that you know 15 to 25 percent rally in the indices in the past couple of months mm -hmm. uh more importantly what i'm noticing is that for the first time in a while I see so many stocks that missed earnings or guide lower and that they would gap down and, and they would just fully recover a few days later. Like so many of them, like a major names like Illumina, you know, missed earnings last week, gap down two days later, they, they're back to even. Yeah, and NVIDIA, same thing happened with NVIDIA. That's what I'm watching. NVIDIA, MU, so many of them in so many different, uh, different groups that, that would, have horrible earnings reports and then they would not sell off you know this is a bullish sign so uh i mean we can talk about that this is still a bear market rally but as of right now it's anyone's guess how long it's gonna last and yes the indices are approaching potential resistance but we're not really seeing any distribution day days yet uh dips are getting bought so for the most part Stocks are acting constructively. Obviously, this could change in a few days, but it's not going to change overnight. We need to see you know, more selling, um, yeah. which we're not so far. Uh, so uh, this is what's going on currently. They just The indices continue to, to go higher. I mean, obviously, I will be careful chasing here, especially stocks that are up several days in a row. You still need to find the proper entry spot for many names, but uh, we're seeing... More and more stocks acting constructively. Apple is what, like 5% from its all time high, um, working on a new base here. And we're seeing a, a lot of, not a lot, but some new potential leaders. They're working on new, new bases uh, in different areas, obviously, biotech, some semiconductors, uh, clean energy, uh, the big one after the, the new cl uh, climate bill. Went through. So, they're, uh, so they're, they weren't rallying, but they're rallying, they continue to rally after the news. Or this is, we talked about this two weeks. I'm looking at some ideas that we talked about two weeks ago, and they're actually continuation. I mean, look at the volume here. 
Yeah. It's been, it's been up uh, uh, weekly in the month again, right? Almost every single day on, on big volume. This yeah. is institutional accumulation. It's been a perennial break your heart for me. So, you know, what's the monthly look like? This is not gonna this means that the dips here are gonna get bought. Um, yeah, boy. This this is one that you can both chase if you use position managing, right? In my I'm not that guy because I don't know the company well enough, but this is teed up to be a massive winner if this market firms up and if this deal again a lot of people are reading into this climate deal but we all, it all makes sense to us that solar and chips and panels and and clean energy um this is super interesting where's so what other i mean in the same you space get? you have enph this is the big leader and you got two in that space yeah a yeah. uh, big breakout and going sideways the past few weeks this is a chinese up. company though i think it's headquarters. Yeah, no it's not the nph is not as far as i know oh. um oh fremont california okay yeah so the i mean the chinese ones are like what dq also kind of looping j jks and um CSI that is a strong ass sector. yeah but definitely a lot of money uh has been uh, accumulated into this uh, sector this group um well that's a good sign i mean i don't think solar yeah. can power like everything that uh, oil does but that's a good sign that money is finding its way to the edges here that means a lot of startup money will start getting focused in this sector yeah money is getting put to work uh, this is important because at some point it will create a fear of missing out. Uh, because a lot of institutions, managers are underinvested. So as mm -hmm. the indices continue to climb higher, people have to put some money to work. Uh, and maybe this is why we're seeing uh, names like Apple uh, being back near all-time highs because it's kind of the safest and the fastest, most liquid way to get back into the market. Either yeah, and as I said, like Buffett got that right in terms of like crypto. If you're, Apple's going to figure out crypto when it gets there at this point, like because the world wants regulation, and who has the biggest wallet? Apple and Google, and Goldman, and so it's like the safest play to play future tech too, because they just how do you beat them? Like crypto could be their crypto could be their next smartphone. Like if it's going to be big enough, that Apple's the leader yeah. now. And obviously Tesla back above its 200 day uh, continues to act constructively here, potentially setting up again um, a big, big uh, clean energy play. Uh, I mean, they are a solar company, uh, a battery company, uh, obviously EV company. So um, one of the leaders. Yeah. Uh, and then let's look at like the Tesla competitors. Like I see all this complaints. Let's take a look at like some of the. Okay. Some the of the posers. competitors. So Rivian is one of them. I mean, everyone is a competitor nowadays. Okay, it was like, but you know what I mean. Like now we're gonna see. Yeah, I mean they're just spark of little. I'm looking at this one that I get complaints about all day on stock. It's Rye, R I D E. Oh, okay. Whiny. I mean, is that it? Yeah, I mean that's right. I don't know. But let's just go look at a monthly here. It's just like these people, there's, everybody wants to gamble still. Um, so, you know, eh, it's setting up, I guess. It got as low as uh, 140 or something like this. Yeah. Yeah. So, again, like now everybody sold indiscriminately everything. Right. And I don't feel like because we didn't really get a NAS, you didn't get a 40% drawdown in, in the SP. But um, we also aren't in the great financial crisis. So we're in this. There is some green shoots, as we started talking about two weeks ago. There mm -hmm. is this chance. I'm still skeptical only because, but I'm old. I get to be skeptical. Young people can't go live their life being bearish. It just what doesn't pay if you live in the United States. But I have the luxury of being late to things now because I don't have to make every nickel. Um, but I think you're right. There are some really good green shoots. And mathematically, once you get above the 200 day, which I've been waiting for, like money just flows in. And then, you know, the first pullback becomes the real test. Um, there is going to be a pullback. Could come from 20% higher. It could come right tomorrow. Um, yeah. We'll learn a lot more from this next pullback because we'll see, how, you know, 
it'll scare, it'll truly scare some weak hands out this next pullback. Um, all the money that's kind of like creeping back in here, but not sure. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'd like to, I, I have to say that like, um, there are some good green shoots on the macro side though. And we have to be honest that like, Inflation is still eight and a half percent. Might have slowed down, and rates are just two. And, so there is a mismatch of where the Fed is, and um, so I mean, this doesn't excite me. Seeing rates still kind of creeping higher and trending higher. I mean, yeah. I still look at this. I still look at the dollar. Where's the dollar? U.S. dollar. It's starting to reverse. Oh, no, but then today, no, I mean, it just feels like it's a bit higher, yeah. Yeah, it feels like the next big trade is down. But again, I'm not playing that. It just feels like from the chatter and the sentiment and the fact of the macro and the valuations. Um, it, but I hope I'm wrong. This, this continues to be like uh, I hope I'm. You know, 2020 was a true panic. This was more like a wake up. And if that's all the wake up was that ARC got beat up and a few crossover funds, I don't think, and a few SPACs got beaten up, uh, and then we didn't learn much from this bear market, you know? Yeah, so, I mean, it makes sense. Interest rates definitely uh, have started to uh, go up a little bit. This is TLT, the treasury, so interest rates are uh, the opposite of, of treasuries. Well, and it's not that they're going up either, it's just that they're like, that was such a big move of such a low base. And it's sticking this time, right? If we go to the monthly, it's like, you know, the last 20 years, those things quickly reverted back to trend. And this time, I don't know, where's, is that the monthly, Ivan? Yeah. Look how long we've stayed now below and severely below. I would have, like, if we can get back above 120, I'm going to start getting super bullish, you know, on the, on this, if we can retain, you know, right now it, it's, it still feels like summer and people can whip the stocks they want around. Um, but I think the real, the real next move is hidden in rates somewhere. So I'm hoping rates implode and drop and inflation drops, but I still need to see more signal. You know, I'm long enough, you know, June was a good time time in hindsight to add some exposure is 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 mid-August. I'm not sure. But it's good find on the how did the biotech? I mean, they hit the 200 day, did they keep going? Yeah, definitely. They're kind of setting up above setting 200 up. day. So yeah. So yeah. if you were, if if the SP did the same, you gotta be ready. Like the SP reclaims and then sets up. So this is why you got this has been an important week and a lot of stuff, like there's been a lot of People are saying, oh, I missed the rally. Yeah, I missed the rally. Shopify's still 40, Zoom's still 113. Uh, you know, it's not like uh, every stock is running. Uh, Netflix is still 250. Disney's still 120. You know, um, they're, they're, if there is a bull market ahead, there's, there's a lot of room. Yeah, definitely. There'll be plenty of opportunities, but definitely we're seeing money capital getting put to work. I mean, even here, look at Disney, look at these huge volume bars. A lot of people were just leaning on Disney, just like they can't execute. So again, now this next phase, can it go from 120 to 160? There's a lot more work there than just bouncing off the bottom and bad sentiment. And you know what I mean? But if rates continue to stay up here and, and creep higher, this whole thing is, you're gonna be sorry you didn't settle this rally. Because um, it all comes down to competitions for dollars, and those first dollars are lost. That first part of the bear market, the losses are the losses. You know, um, this next, if there's a next phase down, people will be into preservation of capital, and there'll be real selling. Yeah, but this is institutions have to worry about that because they're slow movers. Yeah, uh, re retail investors, retail traders. You know, you can be in and out. You know, in in minutes. Well, we know they don't. They get stuck holding things. Yeah. We know they don't. Uh, it sounds good on paper, but there's very few people like you who can just put on 10 positions and take them off an hour later. Yeah. Yeah. So 
So you're talking, I'm trying to give it like a more balanced use. It's very hard to put on new positions and teach and tell yourself, you know, it's the S&P reverse. I'm going to take them all off. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and let's be honest, semiconductors like you're showing here and, you know, crypto, like some really edge case semiconductors, crypto, um, um, uh, brokerage, uh, the queues, they're all below the, you know, the software index are all well below the 200 day moving average still. Yeah. And which is fine. Like there should be new leadership, but tech is really important. And, um, you know, you want to see kind of some strength there. Anyways, how are you positioned? I, I haven't well, really added. Yeah, I continue to be nimble. I mean, I I I hold some positions overnight, just smaller positions, five uh, up to ten percent positions, uh, but continue to keep a large cash position overnight, and I just trade it. Like I'm still nimble. I still believe this is a bear market rally, but you know, it could be wrong. So yeah, the. Uh... The I'm trying to think. I'm trying to find some other stuff um, that seemed interesting to me. Yeah, I mean, I'm, as I'm showing you, lithium here, like anything related to clean energy, it's not just solar and electric vehicle. Where's lithium? Is that ALB? This is one of the lithium stocks. And what's just, LIT? Uh, LIT is an ETF. Yep. So definitely been on the on the move. Yeah. So anything like, related just over my pay grade, I don't know the mechanics related of to these companies sectors. work, but that's great. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm out of the market here because I don't have the mechanics. So, you know, I can't. But yeah, there is leadership. So that's interesting. There is leadership. Yeah, I mean, definitely. It's uh, just clean energy so far. How are the acts? Anything on the act or commodities? No. I mean, it depends on your time frame, I guess. Yeah. Um, some of them are looking better like CF is not looking bad here it's working yeah. on a new base the rest not so much okay and then a couple other things I'm seeing uh, I'm just looking through Charlie's stuff I'm not I'm looking at a couple charts that might be um, you know, the VIX is back back below 20 which is great yeah. and I think that the other big thing coming into a new bull market if we're headed there is that like this is still dominated by fang right like is that good or is that bad right like maybe maybe this is just the only safe bets coming out of this thing at least in the public markets and tech are just fang because they're so big and they survived yeah um you know and you get lucky with owning fang and swapping out one or two of them you swap out facebook and netflix for for a couple flyers, but I think the market's saying Microsoft, Apple, Amazon uh, are the true, and and probably Google are yeah. like the four uh, that uh, you have to have in the portfolio, and that it's now a mix. Whoever gets the the mix right after that are going to be the winners, and so you yeah. yeah. Tesla too, maybe those five. Yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, we've never been in this kind of position where like a bear market, the four, the the, the nifty four that six that went in, there's a nifty four that comes out of a, you know. Yeah. And uh, really fascinating. Anyways, it, we'll we'll see everybody next week. I think it is a kind of an important week, like month here ahead. Because yeah. I mean Every month is important. Like we, it's important, I, but people are coming back yeah. to work seasonally. This has just been generally a weak time. The numbers aren't great. Like, where's the growth going to come from at some point? We've got to have growth. And you can have, you know, solar is, it's exciting to see solar, but can it fund all this capital on the sidelines? No, it's still very niche. Yeah, it's a small group. Yeah, it's a small yeah. group. So, um, but it is nice to see money being put to work and they're not being scared out of the fang. And those, those are those are the US economy at many levels, Microsoft, yeah. Apple, you know, Amazon. So uh, pretty interesting. All right, everybody have a great week. Ivan, thanks for All right, Howard. All right.